recent times with all these invasive species and stuff that are coming in, they're evolving at such a rapid rate that it's really difficult to stay on top of it. You don't want to make a mistake on the lake, so if you want to make a management decision, you'd rather do it on a computer model. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and I don't know how many man hours building these models. The models are essentially defunct. The vast majority of impacts of these species, these 180 plus exotic species that are established in the Great Lakes, the vast majority are completely unknown. We got 300 pounds of quagga mussels in one of our trawl halls. We could, couldn't even get the trawl in the boat trying to find a fish among 300 pounds of quagga mussels. We saw some monster salmon heads that were sitting on little dwarfed bodies and it was the ugliest thing and it was rather nasty. Many people believe that this is a sign that Lake Huron has changed in some fundamental way. These parking lots used to be full. There's four or five parking lots here. They used to, there used to be a line to launch your boat. Virtually all the tackle shops have closed. There are quite a few motels that have closed and are for sale now. Uh, the marinas are essentially empty. I can't imagine anything that would be as destructive as the squaga and the zebra mussels have been. Are there more out there? Yes, there's at least 30 other Pontocaspian species that are invading Europe right now, colonizing and dominating ports right now from which we receive shipping traffic. Seems like it always has to wait till it's at a disaster level before, you know, we can start fixing it. We're constantly putting out these biological fires, running from fire to fire to try to keep them under control. Um, we have to find another way to approach this. We are dealing with the largest freshwater systems in the world, on the planet. There's something very unique about the Great Lakes, and that's that it is the largest supply of fresh water in the world. It's so important that we be careful about what happens with that body of water.